Our reading this morning continues in the Gospel of Matthew, the 18th chapter. Then Peter came and said to him, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, not seven times, but I tell you, 77 times. So this is purely a guess and personal observation, but it seems to me that the biggest problem most folks have with Christianity isn't Jesus. It's not the Bible. It's not any complicated theological problem or social issue or conflict of worldview. It's us. It's the actual people in churches that are turning most people off of following Jesus. And it's not because we don't have good signage or the best evangelism and outreach training or the coolest events. It's actually us. It's the way we interact. It's the way we treat each other. It's hard to represent Jesus in the world. We know that we are imperfect messengers. We're only murky reflections of who Jesus is. But that's still how it works. That's how God has always done it raising up stuttering prophets and illiterate apostles. Being insufficient is part of the project from the outset. But if the world is going to see the love of Jesus, they're going to see it in us. As the powerful words in John tell us, by this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. And if the world is going to see the forgiveness and grace of Jesus, they're going to see it in us. We're not a business or some other kind of nonprofit institution. The way we treat each other in our lives together, the way we love one another, isn't just a part of the process, it's a demonstration of the product. We can't separate the two. When we love one another, when we show mercy and grace and forgiveness for one another, that's what we're inviting people into. An abundant, ridiculous forgiveness a boundless grace, an unstoppable love, nothing less than the love of Jesus being shared by those who follow after him, making him visible to all the world.